Hello everyone, so I have a show me TV box Show me TV box second generation Bluetooth and IR voice remote control HDMI cable and the power adapter. It's 4k. Hey Google Dolby Vision HDR quad core processor HDMI Wi-Fi Okay, let's see what's in the box So first you have the box you have audio HDMI USB power port this one does not support micro SD card you have the power adapter you have the HDMI cable to connect TV you have the remote you have a user guide let's assemble this let's connect the power adapter to the box here you connect the HDMI cable to the box and then to the TV that's what I'm gonna do right now and I'm going to show you the steps on how to set it up. All Android TV boxes require a Google account and a Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to show you the steps. So I'm going to go with English. First one. To start the setup. Then choose your country. It's better to choose your country to avoid uh, geo restrictions with applications. So I'm going to go with my country. And then you have two choices. You can go with the setup code. You just scan that code, the QR code with your phone, or continue with the remote. So I'm going to scroll down to set up on TV instead and press OK on your remote. Then choose Wi Fi. So I'm going to go with my Wi Fi. And then I'm going to enter my password and my Wi Fi password. So once you have entered the password, you just press the check mark here to continue. And then you just enter your Gmail account or your Google account. Press the arrow to continue. Now enter your Google account password. So once you have entered your password, you just press again the arrow to continue press ok in your remote so you just accept terms and conditions use location i'm gonna disable this i'm gonna turn off location and remove this one as well and then press accept no thanks Google Assistant continue search across all your TV apps you can allow that or no thanks choose your services you can do it now or do that later you just choose your apps I'm just gonna choose one and confirm show me TV plus make TV free for everyone press ok in your remote to continue then OK again, OK, press OK. It says that the volume change, did the sound come out with the expected audio device? Yes. Your Show Me Box remote is now successfully set up. Press Done. Agree. Terms and conditions. Setting up your Google TV. It's going to take a few minutes. Add in finishing touches. Get the most out of your Google TV. So just scroll down and go to Google TV. 
you have for you movies shows applications library if you go here to apps you will be able to install apps by category here sports communication business and so on the show me tv box runs android tv and has only eight gigabytes of internal storage two gigabytes of ram and a quad core cortex a53 cpu definitely not a powerhouse but for casual gaming maybe it's enough i started with lightweight games like this game and honestly they run fine loading times are decent and controls with the bluetooth gamepad are responsive but once you try some heavyweight games that's when it starts lagging games and other apps take a lot of space with only 8 gigabytes total and the system already using much data i could only install two or three decent sized games before running out of space if you are a gamer be sure to remove some applications from your box before installing games. You can reorder your apps. You just go to reorder. Press the application you want to move. And find the position. Press OK in your remote. And you are done. And you can go to settings. If you press OK, you will see display and sound to change the resolution for your device. Network, this is where you can connect to internet and check your connection. Your connection should be, by the way, excellent. If you press your Wi-Fi, you should be able to see excellent signal. You have accounts on sign-in. This is where you can change your Google account or add another account. You have privacy location ads and so on you have applications this is where you will find all the applications that you have installed you just press see all apps and you will see applications installed if you want to remove an application you just press the application you want to uninstall and press uninstall let's go back to settings in system you have accessibility about in accessibility a lot you have a lot of options this is where you can disable talk back the vocal assistant and you have other options you have about details about your device about the box date and time in case you're having issues with your Wi-Fi you need to adjust date time and set time zone language keyboard you have storage make sure you remove unnecessary applications to improve the performance of your device and that's it for today's video on setting up the show me tv box as you've seen the setup process is pretty simple and once it's up and running it can be a great addition to your home entertainment setup but like any device, it's not perfect. I've run into a few issues myself and in upcoming videos, I'll be sharing some common problems users face with this box and how to fix them. So if you're using a Show Me TV, a Show Me TV box or a Mystic or thinking about getting one, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss those updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.